What's going on? What is going on? What is going on, party people? It is your boy, Coach D. Brown, former big leaguer with the Kansas City Royals. Uh, former first round pick also, too. I got to keep that plug. Somebody told me I got to plug in that, man. So anyway, I might, I want to make sure y'all know who y'all y'all talking to and, and who's bringing on these exciting and crazy and, and awesome guests over here. Uh, all right. So anyway, before I get into my man's uh, chilling, how you looking? Uh, real fast. I right? um, had good sales to, uh, yesterday when it comes to the program. Do not miss out. Offense, defense, pitching. All right, from my lefty, I don't know if you know him, Josh. I'm going to bring him. I don't know. But uh, but I had some little pitching thing over there. I, you know, much as I can't stand y'all. But I had to have some pitching, defense, and then, of course, the hitting in there with this uh, Big League Shortcuts training system. All right, so go ahead. The link is connected to this. So go ahead and get this program, okay? Get this program so I could, you know, it helps me, man, just continue to bring on these guests, man, and, and guys like who I'm about to uh, – Bring on right now. So go ahead, cop this uh that program without further ado. Um, let me give a little story about this dude over here. Okay. So <laughs> you know, it, <laughs> this guy here, man. All right. So it's good. And and it's and you know, the beauty of this game is you meet some great, great people, man. And you know, it's 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 good to see people sometimes, but then all the hand, like, like I'm seeing this dude's face and I ain't seen it in a long time. But when I tell you. A part of me like didn't like to see him when the dude was on the mound. When I tell you, dude, I, I, I used to consider myself a really good hitter, right? You know? And when I tell you certain dudes that just had my number, this gentleman right here was one of those dudes that I was like, <laughs> I, I see this guy warming up, and I was like, here he come, here he come. <laughs> and, and I don't get like that with too many pictures, I promise you. But this dude was one, all right? So when I... When I go through my social media and his face pops up, it's like an instant, like, oh my God, like, that's my guy. Like, I got to reach out this a few years ago. But I reached out to him and I was telling him what I was doing. And I was like, yo, dude, I got to bring you on. And it's, you know, so this is my first time seeing him face, like, even though it's Zoom uh, and forever. But it's just usually he's on a mound with his hat low, ready to get me out. You know what I'm saying? But Anyway, we older now. I'm off the mound, so I can laugh and joke with him. But before, yeah, I used to really want to hurt dude back in the day. You know what I mean? So, anyway, so uh, what's up, Bubba? What's up, Rick Rock? What's going on, Manuel? Deja, what's up, Alicia? What's going on? So, um, and plenty of people will be coming on. All right. So, uh, Bubba, what up? So, anyway, this guy right here, um, without further ado, my boy Josh Newman here. All right. It's assistant. Uh, uh, coach over at Penn State, pitching coach at, at Penn State University, and um, you know, dude is an awesome, awesome dude. I, I, I you know, I, I, I joke and you know, but I know he's a good dude. We, we've talked on the side many times, you know, while we were playing, even though I didn't couldn't stand him on the mound. But um, good dude. I told him what I was doing, and he, you know, he was like, "Dude, I'm, you know, I'm coming. I, I'll, I'll be on." So without further ado, I got my boy Josh Newman here. All right, and uh, Josh, if you could kind of. What I do is I just got my, my, my guests, they come on and kind of give a little background where they're where they from, where they started yeah. from. I want you to go through from your, your, your youth playing days all the way through to college, to professional, to where you at now. All right, to give my, my listeners a little timeline, please. Man, D, that's smooth right there. Boy, you've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's, it's good to see you too. I, I uh, brings back a lot of great memories and thanks for the opportunity to be on the platform today joining you. Uh, my story, man, I, I grew up, I, I, I moved many different times growing up uh, throughout my youth and, and um, kind of settled in when I was kind of in, in middle school in Ohio, southern tip of Ohio, in Wheelersburg, Ohio. Um, we didn't have any travel ball. We didn't have any of that, um, unfortunately. But, um, you know, what, what we did have was, is, uh, you know, many people that, that give me an opportunity to, to play sports and, and play baseball and and I've kind of fell in love with it and, and had an opportunity to go play at Ohio State University out of high school. Um, and, and I spent four awesome years there. I was drafted my junior year by the Reds, and I came back for my senior year. And then uh, I was drafted and signed by the Rockies. Uh, and then I made my major league debut two and a half years after I was I signed a contract. So um, part of three Big Ten title teams there at Ohio State. Um, played in the big leagues with the Rockies and the Royals. 
finished my career in 2010 and then uh, had the opportunity to join a new coaching staff at Ohio State under Greg Bills um, and become a volunteer assistant. And I spent three years there um, and then spent four years at Marshall University, where a program had never had a winning record. Um, um, and then to the second year I was there, we finished almost 500. Third year there, I had five pitchers drafted. So uh, we won almost 40 games in Conference USA without a home field. Not even a home baseball field. So, yeah, man. And, and um, spent four years there. Just finished my first year here at Penn State University under head coach Rob Cooper. Um, and I couldn't be more happy, not just professionally, but personally, uh, working for a guy that values my family um, and working for a university that uh, supports baseball um, and, and gives every every ounce of these young men in that locker room to be successful on the field and off the field. And that's important to me. Baseball is what we do. It's not who we are as, as, as people. And um, sometimes we lose sight of that, but it's real. So thanks again. Nah, dude, it's a pleasure <clears throat> having you, brother. Um, awesome, awesome story. So, you know, we got, uh, let me just, you know, the people coming in, you know, Mr. Ray Cali, what's going on? Mr. Perillo, uh, Dan up in Toronto, what up? All right, Charlene, what's going on? Mississippi, uh, Bubba, Alabama. All right, Mr. Perillo, New York, Alicia here in Memphis. Port, Mr. Mark, what's going on? Missouri in the house. Manuel up in D, what up? I mean, up in Texas, what up? Rick Rock, Cali, what's going on? So, uh, Deja, Arkansas, what's up? So we well, well represented in many, many states over here, you know, John. So um, keep the question. Y'all know, you know how the routine goes, please. Just, uh, um, I will get the questions. If you have any questions, um, you know, you know the routine, you guys, and we will go from there. So um, Ohio State, okay? So Ohio State grad and drafted and big leaguer and goes back to Ohio State. So, you know, I, I'm going to ask how the baseball is in the Big Ten like this, but I'm just talking, you know, we just got finished with the national championship being played. Like, I'm trying to figure this out. So how Ohio State guy, right? How is he, how is he, you know, how, what's up with those Ohio State, Penn State, you know, matchup this past fall? How did that go? We, 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 yeah. we, you have red on Ohio State on the way underneath all your fences. What's going on, man? Ohio State will always be near and dear to my heart. And, and you know, I, I, I spent my four years there in college. I have a degree there. My, my Some of my greatest friends are from there. Um, but, you know, it, sometimes, you, you know, that you don't realize how special other places are until you're a part of it. And, um, you know, being on the outside looking in, um, you know, you, I had no idea the resources that were here and how special this place is, um, truly until I, until I'm here. And, you know, we have one of the greatest parks in the country that we play baseball in, you know, Medler field here is, uh, also home to a short season, a team in the New York Penn league. Um, you know, and, and this place is a beautiful place, you know, happy Valley is happy Valley and it's, it's special, man. So, you know, I, I love it. I love it here. Um, and I also, you know, I love my time at Ohio State. So. Okay. All right. Politically correct. I got you, man. So we, uh, <laughs> I didn't realize. So you guys play at the Mon uh, New York Penn uh, uh, field yeah. over there. Right? Yeah, our stadium, we actually own the stadium and we, we uh, the we State College Spikes up. team uh, is, just, is a low A team for the St. Louis Cardinals. Oh, the Cardinals. Okay. Season. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, pretty cool, man. Really, really, really special place and really neat, you know, because you get to see those those guys, big league guys come back around, you know, the the Rovers and the coaches and you got to get to see the guys um, that you know that were just drafted or, you know, they're chasing the same dream that me and you were. That's so. right. Yeah, that's right. But that's the level where they usually go right there, right? Most of those college guys, right? Yeah. So, yeah. But um, so anyway, I'm a. Uh, you guys know the uh, question, uh, Mr. Poultry, he is left-handed, all right? Um, so, D. Roberts, what's going on, baby? Out in Vegas. We got, uh, so, um, I know Happy Valley is nice and it's happy and it's great, but right now it's happy and cold, you know what I mean? So, yeah. what, what is, how does, how does, you know, you guys, are, what's the schedule like right now in January? What you guys got yeah, going so on right now? It's 75 and sunny, man, in our indoor facility. All right. We got, we got a $30 million indoor facility. That's 
the second to none, man. It's it's a size of two football fields, so we can actually play a full game in, indoors. Okay, um, inside our stadium, we have we have an indoor facility where we got you know we have two dirt mounds, two clay mounds, batting cages. We have a weight room. We have a training room, uh, and obviously state of the art locker room and things that I never had as a player. I remember my roommate in college, Nick Swisher, who was 0 for 1 off of me in the big leagues, by the way. Um, right. so. <laughs> um, you know, we were joking the other day, and, and he was talking about – we didn't even have an indoor batting cage at Ohio State when we were there. Really? And he said, if, you know, if, if we did, he's like, you would have had to call the cops on me, man, because I was chasing a dream and I was all out. If I had an indoor batting cage, I would have been there all the time, you know. Mm. And, and um, now we do, and, and sometimes as coaches, you want your players to just maximize the resources that you have. You know, because I came from a program at Marshall where we didn't even have a home field, you know. So we're, we're working, and, and our guys are – we've had a tremendous fall. Uh, our guys are getting better. Uh, recruiting is going good. Um, but guys just got to go out and play, you know. So you have this big indoor. You got all this money being pumped in. What I mean, what what is it? What do you think is the reason, you know, that – I mean, is it just, you know, they got so much – to other sports or they just want to put the money into the to to the baseball i know i know penn state is also known for on the woman's side is really known for you know the volleyball right you know what i'm saying i know yeah. they're big during that you know but i don't know what any, any other too much any other sports that they're necessarily known for um but what what, what is the reason behind a lot what, 30 million dollar indoor i mean all of this you know for penn state baseball that's that's yeah. that's, that's awesome yeah it is and i think college baseball is really growing and busting, I, I, I know we just finished the College World Series where we set record numbers in viewership by ESPN. Um, the game is growing. I mean, you look at Major League Baseball, the, they sold the most tickets they've ever sold in a season, uh, most attendance, so on and so forth, man. So the game is growing. Uh, as Sometimes it, it – um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I know that uh, the, the university here is committed to it. We fit, we're right now, we're third in the Sears Cup in athletic standings as far as other sports, you know, when they tally up all the sports in Division I. Um, so, you know, we have a tremendous athletic department that truly supports all the programs. And so you mean third, like, I mean, in, in all, all the like, country. Uh, all the sports in all the country, Penn yeah. State number three? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Usually, like, right. the Stanford's, the Florida stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, and, and right now we're, you know, we're, we are we have the most living alums right now in, in, in the United States. Really? We have over 600,000 living alums. This, the CEO of Nike is a track and field. He ran track and field here at Penn State. I mean, I could go on so on and so forth. Um, you know, Penn State is is truly unique, and, um, and a, a degree from here is big time. Nice, man. All right. So – um scheduling wise so you practice in this beauty beautiful indoor 30 million dollar facility and all of that whatever in january but eventually you gotta get outside so what yeah. is going on um what's your scheduling like so you know when the season starts are you guys do you guys usually start the season up there in the cold you usually travel how's this go so right now um are you talking about the scheduling right now day to day like the upcoming oh, season okay. like, yeah yeah so so a week before the season we'll take our guys down to uh, the Ripken Complex in Maryland, just kind of a, a getaway, kind of a retreat, so to speak, get our new guys used to traveling and, and you know, playing away from home. And then we, we um, head down to North Carolina, Cary, North Carolina, the USA Complex, and we open up down there a three-game series against Monmouth. Um, Monmouth, is that that Jersey? Or? Yeah, so – yeah, and, and that's another good program. I mean, it's you know, there's a lot of great baseball up here. Yeah, in the north, yeah. They're over here from from you, I guess. Uh, yeah, east of you, but right. Yeah, uh, old stomping grounds up there. Not too bad. I know my mom, and so why are you going? Is it is it a, a many teams coming down there? Because I'm wondering why are you playing mom right in down there in North Carolina. Um, I think it it gives us a little bit better chance with weather. Mm. You know, in, in February, mid February. Uh, middle of central Pennsylvania, you don't know what you're going to get yet. Uh, that's 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 why I'm asking. Like, yeah. you, you know, we, you hear me say Vegas, Arkansas, you know, we got a lot of Southern, you know, whatever coming, you know, from all walks of life, California, Texas. So when we pumping up your program, I want them, you know, to understand that, like, yeah, in March when it's really February, March when it's cold, 
you guys are headed down south. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why I'm trying to put it out there for you, man. You know? Yeah. So in, in March, we're not. March, we're going to be in March. We're going to be back here at home. I mean, March, March weather is a little bit better. Um, and, and also the chance for our guys to sleep at home and, and stay at home during during the week to be able to get class. And, and um, you know, we have the resources to be able to pay some other teams to come in to our to our stadium here at Penn State. So, you know, and plus the Big Ten Conference. I mean, that's uh, we finished third RPI in the in the nation uh, last year in the conference uh, really? in college baseball. So, you know, that that is really taken off. And and it's really, you know, teams have really raised the bar uh, and, and and it's it's fun to be a part of. So let me ask you this. So speaking of that, I mean, I I want to know I'm in SEC country. Right. So. You know, you telling me Big Ten is so. What is it? AC, SEC, ACC, then Big Ten over Pac-12. Is that what you telling me? Yeah, we're we're right there on the on the um, cusp with all three of those. You know, we're we had um, we finished fourth in conferences as far as draft picks go from last year. Um, you know, and and that tells you right there that there's some really good players in this league. So um, when, when you're getting that those those types of numbers drafted out of your conference. Um, that, that, that tells you where it's at, not just RPI, but, you know, you got players to back it up. That validates it. So, yeah, no, nah, that's awesome, man. I'm uh, so who are the big boys in the, Penn, I mean, the uh, Big Ten Conference? I know Ohio State is one. Who are the big boys? You guys, who else? Um, yeah, Penn, I mean, we're we're getting there, man. You know, Minnesota just came off one of the one of one of the greatest seasons they've had in a while. Oh, really? uh, they went to Super Regionals. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you got Iowa, Nebraska. Um, Michigan, you know, they, they've really done well, Michigan state, Indiana, um, you know, there, there's all kinds there, you know, the, the list Purdue, you know, that there's, um, a lot of great baseball in this conference, man. Yeah. It's, um, you know, now that you, I keep forgetting that you guys expanded, you got Maryland in there, you know, that's why I was, going I didn't even mention them. I mean, I could top to bottom, I'm telling you top to bottom, uh, <laughs> there's 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 no breaks yeah because i always knew nebraska always had good is there a stats to the coach over there or yeah. what yeah yeah i mean i knew they had you a good those guys can hit yeah you I already know and their facilities are really really nice too man so yeah, they are. um but anyway the uh so you know now that you got all this money being poured into the to the you know to these facilities and penn state is penn state you know you got over this backlash or whatever it's still a hotbed for football talent, but you know, off of that, like where are you guys recruiting? I, we, we talked a little before we got on and, you know, you know, if our mutual friend of ours, you, you picked up a couple of players down from the South, you know, from the South over here, but Indeed. tell me, Indeed. you know, where are you guys recruiting at, man? United States of America is a big place, D. <laughs> we'll come find you, man. I'm telling you. Okay. We will find you. All right. We're looking for elite baseball players that are good people. Okay that are chasing a dream, man, that, that, uh, that are uncommon in, in United States of America produces a lot of them. Okay. Nice, <laughs> and, and through utilizing contacts that coach Cooper, our head coach has, you know, he's a, he's from California um, uh-huh. and all of our assistants from various places. Uh-huh. You know, um, so. Tell me, tell me a little bit of a roster. Tell me where you got, tell me where you, you know, a little bit where you, where your roster is from. Yeah, we got guys, uh, we got guys from all over. We have we have a um, couple from from California. We have a kid from Texas, a um, couple from Florida. Um, we have truly we have kids from everywhere. We have a couple from Ohio, you know, um, North Carolina, South Carolina, uh, and hopefully some more from Tennessee, where you're at. I, I like that. I like that. I'm I'm just. Uh... I'm I'm bugging out over there. You telling me California, Florida, and all they coming up there to play in the cold, man. They 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 coming hey, out there. Like it's that? 75 and sunny right now, D, where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. Look, hey, hey, it's a different type of broad ball player yeah. that's come from up north over there. You know, because you from up there, but I'm I'm just saying, you know, I, some of these guys, I don't know, man. But you be telling me they I I love it, man. I, yeah. I you know, well, I, I was I was telling you how much you know Penn State is loved over there where I'm from. Man. I think the kids today they need to they they they're looking for you know what can the school do for them and and but we're also looking what what can we what what can they do for us? I mean you know I want kids chasing a dream that I want to play at the next level. 
how can I help them, you know, along the way, man, baseball has been really good to me. And I feel like I've, I have a lot of resources um, and to help that. I mean, our head coach is, he's won gold medals with team USA um, and our coaching staff. We, 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 you know, there's nothing better to see a young man chase a dream and, and, and achieve it, you know, to see that. And, and then to get his degree from, from Penn state, it's life changing. So. Awesome, man. Listen, man, we, um, uh... That's good to know. I didn't know you guys is doing it like that, man. That's big, man. All over the country, man. Um, I want to say, was, uh, what's up, my old boy, Matt Miller, man, down in Mississippi? I, I, I know, uh, I don't know if you know Matt, ex-Big Leaguer, too, but uh, um, um, got into an accident, man. I want to shout him out, man, and uh, I'm glad he's healthy. Coming back. I don't know if you were down at the, uh, did you go down to the ABCA thing uh, in Dallas? Or any, any of you guys go down there this past? Uh... Yeah, yeah, we were down there. Okay, yeah. So yeah. my boy was down there, came back on the way back home and got into an accident. Anyway, shout out. He's he's on. And you, you remember Donnie Murphy? You played with me? You remember? Yeah. Him? Yeah, D Murphy's on. So he told me, tell you what's up. So um, he was on the other day. But Cabrera out there in Massachusetts, what's up? Andrew, what's going on? D Brooks, Alabama, what's going on, man? So um, yeah, man, we got love today. So we got a lot of people on. I was, you know, um, so being a football school, we're talking about recruiting. Is it, Does that help or hurt? you know, you know, baseball wise, you know, it absolutely helps. Absolutely helps the, the student athlete experience. All right. What you, what you, what kids get is unparalleled. I mean, you, you're talking about a top pro football program on Saturdays. It's crazy. Unbelievable atmosphere. Um, and we actually have our, one of our baseball players, a wide receiver on the football team, Matt Kippenhammer. Nice. Um, so, nice. you know, and, and those guys, um, really get after it and they've they've really helped us as far as creating different avenues and different angles to recruiting you know um and why wouldn't you want to learn from those guys i mean when they're when they're bringing in top 10 recruiting class nationally every year why wouldn't you so our head coach is tight with coach james franklin mm -hmm. uh head football coach you know he comes around he's he comes to our baseball games and he's a part of our program and um so the thing at penn state that i feel is really unique is, um, you know, our motto is kind of, one, it says one team, but everybody wants to help one another. And that's truly really cool, man, when you have 30 some sports that we have here at Penn State and you have everybody trying to help each other, you know, it's, that's unique. It doesn't really happen. And I know Happy Valley is not a big place at all, but it's just crazy. No. I mean, the, the love and the community that, I mean, you get a hundred and some thousand that come to these football games and stuff. How is the crowd that comes to your games? Is it is it is it packed house on the weekends over there? They are. They love winners, man. I mean, and who doesn't? You know. Mm -hmm. and, and here's the thing: Penn Staters, man, are everywhere. Like I said, we have the largest alumni base in the United States right now, over six hundred thousand alumni. Wow. And uh, so, you know that the Penn State, you know, State College here is is a smaller town. It's a small town. Um, big city feel but a small town you know community mm -hmm. you know so um everybody embraces athletics here and and it it, it means a lot it is beautiful country out there i i, I mean it is, man. It is i tell you what i ain't no rush hour here so that's that's right. my pace of life is is okay right now <laughs> i don't know about living but i mean i've been doing that it's pretty man but it, you know hey it's it's uh you know, you about to get what to make of it, man. I mean, you know, we're, there's a lot to offer here. You know, mm -hmm. I always try to look at the positives of everywhere I've been, but mm -hmm. you know, look at the resources. My, I have an eight year old and a 10 year old. My son's eight, my daughter's 10. Um, my wife is a teacher. She teaches at one of the elementary schools here in town. Awesome. Awesome. My family is the happiest we've ever been. And, and nice. just, it, it's, uh, I'm just so excited to be here. Awesome, man. I can hear it in your voice, man. That's, that's, that's great, man. And, uh, so, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up to the few few questions that that I have from the parents over here, and um, we are since you such a nationally recruiting hotbed right now. I'm over there to Penn State. I love it, man. You're selling it. I I didn't realize Penn State was doing it like that, man. I'm and playing in a, in, a, in a professional. Well, I get, you know it's good enough for a professional team to play in it. So yeah, man, that's awesome, man. And, and college baseball just just named us uh, the third best. Uh, collegiate baseball um, playing surface and in, in uh, stadium too. So, you know, really? it's just me saying it. It's it's nationally recognized. That's what's up. Nice man. So, All right. So we got uh.
I mean, I'm sorry. A little I mean, nicer than the Wichita Stadium you played in, D. Oh, gosh. I don't even mention that place to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't mention that place. Boy, that me. was some hot days, man. Oh, my Those God. Those double headers. Yeah. And the turf and the turf burning. You burn your feet up over there. Maybe 100 with, a, with humidity, 90%. And it was probably 180 on that turf. Oh, gosh. I was a hit. Okay. Yeah, good place to hit, man. But Lord, that city and place, man. Anyway, don't give me come on, man. I'm having a good day today. Anyway, so uh Nick asks, what is the best, what is the best baseball environment like? Um, uh, what is the baseball environment like in a D1 school more known for his football program? Well, I, I think the expectations is to win. And to win um, in the classroom just as much as on the baseball field. Um, we finished above a 3-0. Uh, we are right at it again in the classroom. Um, and I think the, the standard of excellence raises, you know, um, because it's a nationally nationally recognized program athletically. All right. So uh, Bubba in Alabama asks, what recruiting services does Penn State use to locate talent, if you do? Um, well, we look for the guys that play the game. I don't I – don't, I can't. I can't comment on the recruiting services. It's a um, just rules and regulations. What I'm allowed to talk about. Okay. Okay. So you you don't know. Is it a yes or a no? If you use them or no? I, I, I can't. I can't comment on it. All right. Cool. All right. All right. So Dan uh, in Toronto asks, was not aware Penn, Penn Penn State has so much in the way of facilities for baseball. Good to know. Um, nothing wrong with venturing up north. I'm sorry. Uh, does Penn State seriously look at freshmen like young, young, young ball players? You know, are you are you in that mix too? These guys, these schools over here, like, you know, yeah. looking at young kids, man. Well, I'll tell you, we have camps that we have, um, and, and that's a tremendous resource for for younger kids to come to our showcase camp or prospect camp that we have because our whole coaching staff is going to be here. Um, so you know, we've had success with those because you also look at. You know, the skill set's great, but you also find those guys that want to be in your program, okay? And, you you know, as, as, as you're making a roster, and you got 35 guys on a roster, you know, those guys are extremely valuable because the passion that they bring for the university is real, you know? Um, so, you know, we're always looking at every angle and how can we make our program better, and that's that's a great resource. So answer a question, yeah, we are. Um, we, we look at everything. All right. Um, Manuel in Texas asks, Coach Josh, how much do you look at the numbers, speed, exit, velo, et cetera, versus, you know, somebody that's just a player, you know? Well, I'm a lot better pitching coach when I got 94 in sync on the mound than I am 82 in straight. So <laughs> I do look at that stuff, but I also know this, D, the radar gun never got anybody out, never has and never will, okay? Right. Right. What's, in, what's inside of here, all right? is means a lot to me because I was a guy that was the same way. I wasn't a guy that could throw 98 miles an hour, but I tell you what I did is I brought it every single day, man. And, and I, I, I can attest to that. You those guys that, that, that the coach says, you want this guy and, you know, Andy does this, you want this guy, but I don't know about him on this situation. It's the and or, but, you know, I, I've heard a lot of coaches say it may be cliche, but you know, just watching a guy play, man, you, you can see the way he plays with energy the way he goes about his business either elevates the skill set or brings it down, you know? Mm -hmm. And and I don't want energy vampires. Our coaching staff don't want to coach energy vampires, okay? There's there's plenty of other schools out there that may take him, but we're not going to. So what do you mean by energy vampires? Guys, guys just suck, that, the, life, guys, suck yeah, the life out of them. suck the energy out. You want guys that, that make you better, man, that you just – that something about it that's contagious, you know? Mm -hmm. Like you just want to go down and downstairs and coach them right now. You know, when they walk into a room, you just gravitate to them, okay? Mm. It's something mm. about that's inside there, bro. Mm. I don't need a radar gun to tell me about that, okay? Mm. Mm. So, you, so you, uh, I'm just saying, so those dudes that just just doing that extra stuff on the field, you could just, like, you. it ain't no eye wash, it ain't no fluff. Yeah. You, know I mean, about. you want to coach them right away, huh? Right, man. The guys that play the game the right way, and the coach, you ask them, hey, man, what do you got? Who you got? Yeah, this guy's pretty good, but look at Johnny over here. I want you to watch him, man. Lock in on him. Watch how he plays the game. And he ain't got to be the most wins. talented. He ain't got to be – and the other guy he might be talking about may be more talented, but the dude over here is just a gamer, right? Just a That's baller. Right? So, you know, 
Um, uh, yeah. So you, you're making a roster out, you know, that's, you, you look for all those variables. So, you know, um, yes, to answer your question, those, those measurables absolutely matter and they always will matter. Okay. Um, because I think the harder and the better you are, the more room for error, you know, the, the margin, but we're also looking for guys that want to win. And that's, that's not fake. That's real. Mm. Amen, brother. I like that, man. D Brooks in Alabama asks, what are the out of state fees for a kid who may not get a big percentage to come to your school? Well, that's a great question because at Penn state, we're not going to over recruit and we're not going to over sign. You look at our scholarship, we get 11.7, excuse me. We get 11.7, the same as everybody else does division one. 11.7 scholarships, okay? Um, so you go and look at our signing class right now. We, we have the same amount of guys that are going to come in. We're going to have 35 guys in the locker room, and we're going to have 11.7 scholarships. I'm not going to talk about how other programs do it, um, but we have, we have opportunities where guys can, you know, come in and they, they do the right things, and they may earn a little bit more money as they go, you know? Um, is that common to happen? Is that common? Is like a guy, you know, maybe come in as a 25% guy and then goes and balls out and you increase the scholarship. Does that happen a lot? Absolutely. Why wouldn't you want to take care of a young man that represents the program uh, at an unbelievable professional way on the field and in the classroom and off the field? You know, when those situations come up, our head coach handles it and, and he takes care of those guys. Yeah. Does it happen every time? No, I can't guarantee that, you know, right. but. You know, when, when we do things the right way and we do things, you know, by the book and then, you know, have young men that, that come into your program and make your program better, why would you not want to take care of them? Nice, man. I didn't, I mean, I, we had, I've had some coaches on here, but I haven't heard that yet. And that's awesome, man. That's good, man. So I didn't know, you know, I didn't know that was possible, man. I, I heard of walk-ons like in football about, you know, coming back and getting scholarships, but I haven't heard about baseball-wise increasing the scholarship offer. That's awesome, man. So... Yeah, um, I think in eleven point seven, you got to be creative. Yeah, and we're not over recruiting, and we're not we're not sending kids home because we oversign. My job as an assistant coach, you got on the road and evaluate players. All right, I can sign forty eight kids and bring them in, and then we have to make cuts. Well, are you really evaluating, man? Where's the relationships at? You know, we're trying to. This isn't about just you know, winning is a result of developing players, man. And develop players, you got to create a relationship where a kid believes in you. Mm, mm. I, hey, it's funny you say that, man, because I'm again, I just learned this the last few months talking to you coaches over there about, you know, right before signing day or even more coaches, more universities, even more cut though, they'll bring them in, you know, they train them up for a little bit. And then right before, you know, February, they, they cut them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, is Not that here. is that that's real? That's real. You know, that's that's extremely common, huh? Or what? Not here at Penn State. I, right. Right. Crazy man, but uh, all right. Dan asks, uh, Coach Josh, do you ever visit the T12 showcase in Toronto? Uh, I can't comment on where I'm a lot. Like I can't comment on on that, but but that is a great event. Okay, <laughs> read between the lines. Okay, all right. Don uh, Don Fox asks, my son loved Penn State, but chose him. Okay, all right. Um. We were just looking at the pitching there's, roster. There's certain rules and regulations that, um, with the NCAA rules and regulations and compliance that, that we're, we we have to be, you know, um, I just got to cover myself. I, so no, I got you, man. I got you. I got you. Um, Alicia asks, was just looking at the pitching roster. He, um, only one junior. Um, the other pitchers are sophomore freshmen. Did he lose a lot of pitches last year? Did you lose a lot yeah, of pitches? He lost almost eighty percent of our innings. Wow. So that, you know, next that's an opportunity you know, though, huh? That's, that's called recruiting. And it's, you know, our, our guys, um, it, we're not going to take days off, you know, um, and, and we're going to get after it tonight. We have a, a little bit later workout. We have start at six o'clock Eastern time this morning. They were up at 7 a.m. Um, we had weights and speed and agility stuff start at 7 30. Uh, this morning, Eastern time. So it's been 6 30 your time, D. But, mm -hmm. Um, then our guys, you know, we have a nutritionist, our guys eat, and then they they uh, go to class, have some time after class, go to study hall, study table, relax a little bit, and then we're going to meet up again at 6 p.m. So um, what are you going to do at 6 o'clock after you did the speed and agility? Gonna, 
Yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have a dynamic stretch warm up, and then we're gonna do a throwing program. And then we're gonna do some PFP work uh, in our seventy five and sunny Luba Hall, the thirty million dollar facility, right? That's right. <laughs> so let me ask you this: with thirty million dollar facility, I'm sure you're getting thirty million dollar, you know, high class, you know, nutritionist type of food, man, huh? I mean, uh, well, I'll tell you, it's it's uh, there's there's a lot to, I mean, a lot goes into development, man. I mean. And, and what you do to your body is, is big. So, um, and, and we also have a mental skills guy now that, that, that we meet with once a week, which me and you both know is, is most underdeveloped thing in baseball because nobody wants to talk about a failure. That's everything. Baseball is a game of failure, you know? That's everything. That's how, you awesome, handle it and how you respond makes you who you are. That's you know, awesome. it's, it's just like life. So mm, um, amen, brother. when I say the resources, I could talk for hours about what we could do here. Nice. And that's why I get so excited, man, because I've never seen this, never been a part of it. And you've been a part of D1 programs and college and baseball, pro, major, yep. for the last 20 some years, right? You know what I'm saying? So for you to be excited about a program like Penn State, you know, so it, I, I could hear it, you know, through your voice. Like, you you really, like, I could tell, like, man, you you, you got something going on over there, huh? Yeah, and, and, you know, I just can't wait for these young men to 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 do it on the field, you know? I know this, the game, if the game was easy, I'd still be playing it, though, D. Game on. So, you know, a lot goes into it. All right. All right. So my boy D. Roberts asks, are all scholarships one year, or do some players get three to four years guaranteed? Yeah, our scholarships can vary from one year to four years, um, or even five. Uh, we're allowed to do multi-year deals. But I tell you this, our, our guys will never lose scholarship money based on athletic ability, based on athletic performance. Nice. So uh, we're not we're not like that, and we're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. And um, so, good man, William. What's up, man? What's going on, Matt, Matt Johnson over there, Jackson, Tennessee? What's up, baby? Um, we got William Max. Andre Butler's a very good man. Uh, we met him at the Duke game, and we got play got players to sign balls and kids, and we did the same at Rutgers game for the kids. Andre Butler is that your coach? Yeah, yeah. Dre. My boy, man. Uh, <laughs> Dre, Dre just spoke at the ABCA convention. Did he? Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. Um, Mark Woods asks, uh, what are some specific recommendations for a 16-year-old as far as off-season arm and health training, you know, um, you know, basically arm care, you know what I'm saying, you, you being a pitching guy? Yeah, there's a lot of different things out there, man. I, I don't uh, – I don't want to talk endorsing uh, um, certain programs because I'm not allowed to do that right now. No, and that's good. Um, I need to do it on my thing yeah. anyway. But just being an athlete and, and you know, I look for multi-sport guys. I like guys that play other sports. Um, so flexibility is big baseball wise, you know, and, and being, you know, you got uh, brute strength and functional strength. You know, you want guys that are functional, be able to utilize functional strength on a baseball field. So there's, there's two different variations of that. So what do you mean by functional strength? Tell, tell the listeners, what do you mean by functional yeah, strength? Yeah, so, you know, you got a guy that may bench press 500 pounds, but is that going to is that gonna help him, you know, with his mobility and agility, swinging a bat and playing shortstop, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, if you're a corner guy, it, maybe that's good for you, you know? But, but you know, it, being on the mound, like, you know, how can you make that strength that you're using in the weight room, how can you make it functional for what you're doing on the baseball field? Mm. Okay, I love it. Mark asks, and Mark in Texas asks, do you coaches look at size of players and stats? Coaches, is he talking about me or is he talking about – because I don't compare myself to anybody else, D. Oh, hey, I love it, Josh. <laughs> uh, well, Coach Josh, do you, yeah. do you look at uh, uh, size of players and stats? Um, wins and losses, I like winners. Uh, size of players, as it, it kind of goes back to measurables, man, what we're looking for – what are you doing in that size though? You know, like what's inside of this right here, man, is, is the most, I mean, the telltale all. All right. I mean, again, uh, we have our, our probably going to be our starting second baseman. Um, who's five, nine, five, 10, but he plays with his hair on fire and he, and he's the first one in and the last one to leave every single day. Mm. Okay. Mm. I mean, so the smaller you are, the probably the more you got to be on that side of it. You know, um, so we got guys from all sizes and shapes. Uh, you know, that that's just a number, man. What you do with it is what matters most. You know, does that make sense? Not nice. 
<laughs> Come on, man. You know, I it, it definitely does. Um, my boy, uh, what's up, Lance? What's going on? <clears throat> I, and I, I and I'm gonna finish with this. We we got still got more questions coming in, no doubt, dude. But I want I want to piggyback what my man D Brooks is saying. Um, he was just saying, by the way, bro, he's like, I love your passion, man. He's like, I love your passion, you know, and I'm I mean, you, you are making a whole lot of new fans, Penn State fans today. I just want to let you know that. Um, and I piggyback what he, my boy D Book said about you, Josh. Okay. Um, um Will, yeah, William uh Barksdale asks, um, what does eleven point seven scholarship mean? Okay. So you get eleven scholars, eleven point seven scholarships for thirty-five guys. Okay, twenty-seven of those guys are allowed to be on scholarship. So actually, eight of those guys got to come for for no money. Athletically, there may be other variations of how they can get a- academically um, or whatever it may be, sc- athletics or academic scholarships. Uh, however, it is, but eleven point seven counts for baseball, and we're on partial scholarships. So you try, you have to be creative of how you spread that out okay. uh, for 27 guys. Okay. All right. Um, D Rob has asked a great question. He says, you know, why are there only 11.7 scholarships with a big money school like Penn state? Um, great question. And he, he just saying, you know, something is wrong with this. You know what I'm saying? What are your thoughts about yeah, that? Yeah. I think title nine and that's, that's, um, that, that, that question there is a little bit uh, above my pay grade. So, you know, um, I, I think our co- our game is growing, D. It's growing on on various levels. Um, I'm excited to be a part of it. That that question, I don't know why 11.7. I know that um, there's many – there's been a lot of talk about expanding that, but unfortunately I don't, that's all I have right now. I, I don't have any more info on that. It's a great, it's a great question, man. It's just, it is what it is, man. Thomas, what's going on, baby, in Arkansas? Um, Mark asks, uh, do your staff, do you, your staff, make rounds to summer ball tournaments? Yeah, man. Uh, we we sit down and uh, there's a lot of a lot of things go into where we're going to be. Obviously, we can't be everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, that there's a lot of planning and stuff that goes into that, where we're going to be and and, and who we're going to see and stuff, so. Okay. Uh, Mark Mark also asked, you know, basically a statement, you know, so this time of the year, you're already on basically a full day schedule already, huh? This time of year? Yeah. I think we're on full-time schedule all, all the time, you know, just because of recruiting and always, you know, striving to be better. Um, but I say this, man, I haven't worked a day in my life and have having the opportunity to work uh, with this coaching staff and work uh, under our head coach at, at a university like we have here makes it even that much more special um, for the opportunity to be where we are and where my family's at right now. Um, so I love what I do. I, I, I'm very thankful for, for the relate relationships like you um, that the game has given my family and I to mm-hmm. be where I'm at today. Um, but, you know, I'm excited about the future as well. So. Awesome. Uh, now, nah, um, Bubba asked, so what does your throwing program consist of? Um, my throwing program, why well, our throwing program here at Penn State? Um, every kid is different, man. Every guy is unique and, and every athlete is is moves differently, has a different arm angle, left, right, submarine, over the top, whatever it may be. Um, there's a lot of our, our throwing program is um, geared around the individual and the athlete. Um, there's certain things that that we'll do, whether it's a heavy, heavy uh, pre pre throwing routine, heavy ball bands, whatever it may be. It's specifically designed for each kid. So I I, I, I don't think we have the time here. You know, looking at the clock, I, I don't I don't think we have time to go through each guy. But um, it's there's a lot of thought that goes into uh, coaching the athlete that we have. I don't have a cookie cutter approach to pitching, and I don't I don't I, I like don't that. Believe I don't believe that's the way you got to coach because, you know, every guy is different, man. I was a different left-handed pitcher than Franklin Morales from Venezuela was. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. Let me yeah. ask you this. Is that, is that common? I was having this conversation um, the other day um, with a pitching guy. Um, most, I'm, I'm sure like, you know, you know how colleges kind of get the bad rep when they come to the pro game, but is that common to, you know, in my mind, I would think, cookie cutter way everybody do the same thing when it comes to 
coaching kid, you know, guys in your program, that's what college is kind of known for. Do you think because of you being a pro guy with your background, you bring that into the, uh, into your pictures or, or I think what? that's definitely helped my, I mean, shape that. I, um, I, I know this, the evolution of the game is constantly changing. And, and um, you know, I, I went to Nashville at the, you know, pitching Palooza thing that Lance Wheeler does to learn, mm -hmm. you know, continue to grow. My job is, if I'm telling my guys they gotta they gotta exhaust every resource to be as good as they can be, well, me as a pitching coach, I gotta I gotta exhaust every resource I can be to continue to give our players every every ounce of knowledge and put them in the best situation to be successful, so they can spread their wings and go. Hmm. Um, and every guy's different, man. But there's certain absolutes that we don't give on. You know, we're gonna throw a flag ground every day. Tonight we'll throw a flag ground. You'll see our guys they'll they'll end on a flag ground. Um, amount of pitches and, and what pitches they throw is kind of varies, but you know, there's certain absolutes that we don't, we don't give on, but um, you know, I, I do to answer your question. I think that I, I, I've had a unique experience of playing at the highest level that we're all, that we all strive to be at, um, you know, and so with how that, many, how many uh, off the cuff, I didn't mean to cut you off though, but I mean, percentage wise of college, you know, to me, you're, you're a rare guy. You, you are not only a college coach, but you know, not only a pro guy, but you are also a major leaguer. So, you know, how many ex pro guys and big leaguers are in the coaching realm? You know, I'm meeting guys, you know, here and there, but um, you know, how many, how many guys like yourself are in the college game? Cause it's kind of like a, Right. It's kind of like, look, look, look at like pro guys stay with the pros, college guys stay with college. Right. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, honestly, I haven't even looked at that, man. Um, I, I, I couldn't, couldn't tell you. Okay. Okay. It's, I mean, it's just something I observe outside looking at it. Yeah. That's, yeah that, that's a great question. Yeah. All right. Um, so uh, Nick asks, I don't know if you can answer this. You tell me, uh, what are coaches' opinion on work outfits like Driveline and uh, is doing and stuff like that? Yeah, unfortunately, I can't and I can't comment on on the, on that. Yeah, I don't, okay, All right. I don't want to get into that. D Brooks asks, uh, with the changes in recruiting, how many kids are signed from camps on campus? Uh, our our camps and our showcases and our prospect camps are extremely valuable to us in recruiting um and i tell you every every showcase or every prospect camp our whole coaching staff is there and we have had tremendous amount of success from those um so you know whether it's committing guys or whatever it may be it, there's there's certain things that go into that but um mm -hmm. it's just a phenomenal way to to guy to come in and not just be seen but also learn you know and, and see the passion that our coaching staff, you know, is, has, you know, um, because there is no shortcuts, man. You can have the greatest programs in the world, but you still got to put in the work. Mm. Right. Amen. Amen. So let me ask you this. So, um, what are, when are your next camps? What, what, what's the schedule like for Penn? I know you guys are about to start playing. Yeah. But what are, what are, when it comes to camps and showcases and all of this with, what is coming on? What's going on with Penn State? You know? Yeah. So we um, right now we're, we're starting up our individual skill workouts as a team. We just finished up our our last prospect camp uh, for a few months in June. I believe uh, we'll have some more camps come available. Um, and then they also, you know, you can send video to us coaches through email. Um, and, and I encourage that as well. All right, so June is your next prospect camp. Um, probably about go online to kind of get the date, the set date, when it when it's going to be, and if you want to get seen by Coach Josh Newman over here, um, you know, basically uh, send the email. Um, you know, is it the email that you that I use for this? Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. I will. Uh, I will post it in the comment section. If you could just say it real fast, and then yeah. I'll post it. You know. Yeah, my email is jpn25 at psu.edu. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll text it later. But uh, Manuel asks, um, is it best to go to college camps or events instead of perfect game showcases? I think it's I think it's what's best for you and your family, man. I know this much growing up, I, I probably wouldn't be able to do much 
Um, and and as, a, as us coaches, we try to make it affordable for the family. Um, you know, I, I know what we can do and I know that it's going to be worth, you know, a kid that, that comes and he's going to get coached by us and he's also going to get evaluated. So. I, I mean, listen, it, it's just a consensus, you know, just from the conversations, you know, that I've, we've been having with you guys coaching wise. Um, I know your school is different, but it seems, just seems like the, just the way the recruiting goes right now is just best to get on the campus in front of you guys. Right. I mean, just in the yeah, individual. I, I just think we're limited on what we're allowed to do. Um, and, you know, that that's, it is what it is, but it's, you know, you look at um, what's best for the family and what's best for the, for the individual, you know, every family and every kid's different. So, you know, I don't, I don't know. I can't speak on behalf of them. Only thing I can say is, you know, we're going to make it worth, you know, your time and investment and we're going to give the, the young man every, every ounce that we have during that time here. So. Nice, man. Well, um, that's all the questions we got. Uh, okay. And um, um, Josh, man, listen, dude, great, great. Listen, I, I'm going to piggyback again with D Brooks said earlier. Um, the passion that you're showing and, you know, breeds through this, man. I'm glad that, you know, one of my best interviews so far, man. I appreciate you, brother, coming on, man. Um, uh, any last words that you may have before we end this, um, you know, about Penn State, about what you guys are doing? I mean, you know, if you could kind of talk to those parents, kind of give it lasting, you know, uh, words, I, I would appreciate it, man. Yeah, well, you know, I, I just know this much, man. The game of baseball is – given me so much to me personally, but it's about the relationships that I've had along the way that has put me in the position to be where I'm at today. Um, and, and I just, you know, as, sometimes as parents, as coaches, um, you get pulled and tugged in so many different directions. Um, so, you know, I, I just know that there's so many other resources out there and I wish every, every parent, every family the best. I know that, um, if they're serious, if a young man's serious about achieving a dream, I know there's a place out there somewhere, somewhere in the United States of America, there's a place uh, for each and every person that, that wants to chase a goal. So there's different routes. There's many different routes to the major leagues. And, um, you know, and I'm not saying everybody's going to get there, but, you know, what we do right now is matters most. So thanks, Steve, for your time, man. And, and, and uh, you know, I look forward to following you and, as you know, me and you and continue to, to talk long after this conversation, but, you know, I'm going to bring some, I got to get some guys up there, man. I got to get some guys up there, man. We, you, man, you know, you tell me you're recruiting all over. Cause you know, in my mind, I'm thinking like, man, ain't coming down here. They, they, they close, you know, big, big 10 country and all of that. You tell United me States of America is a big place, D. I love it, man. And you, and you well connected, you know, you got guys from all over, you know, you, you know, guys from all over. So, um, you know, I had a couple questions, man. We didn't, we could be out of here, man. I, I'm going to make sure I, they came in last minute as soon as you were saying your deal, man, and I'll get you out of here, man. So um, he said they look for multi-sport multi athletes. Do they offer scholarships for multiple sports? Um, that's that's a tricky situation because, you know, um, depending on what sport it is, you know, that who who's paying for the scholarship. So, you know, with, with us being 11.7, you know, we have one kid that plays football, um, you know, and, and uh, so we have to be strategic on how we how we go about the scholarship numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I got uh, with the new recruiting regulations affect uh, affected the way I have the new recruiting uh, rules re, uh, affect the way you're looking at kids. Well, I you you gotta follow the rules and. And we're going to do that, you know, we're high integrity, you know, uh, I don't, I, I, I don't think it stops us from getting, you know, the elite level guy because it, you know, we, we're going to do things the right way. So. Uh, All right. So um, what's the number one thing you can do uh, as a parent to get your son ready or get recruited? I should say. I think it's got to come from the young man. I want to talk to the kids, man. I, parents are, are awesome and they give them the platform, but they're not the ones that's going to be lacing it up, playing and, and coming up in the bottom of the seventh inning with the bases loaded and two outs, trying to get a hit or, 
or trying to get a ground ball double play on the mound. They're not the one that's going to be going to class every single day and then have to come and answer the bell and practice at six o'clock. They're not the one that's going to be away from home traveling on a bus or flying, you know, so, you know, that that's great. But, man, I want to talk to, to the player. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, dude. Hey, I love it, man. All right. Uh, so anyway, man, listen, uh, you made some new fans, man. You, you, I, already, I already know what type of dude you was, man, but you <laughs> made me a new fan when it comes to like, man, I got to get some guys up there that want to play for you, man, because that's this is what it's about, man. But um, listen, uh, again, uh, parents, thank you for coming on tomorrow. I'll be on 3 o'clock. Go get the program. If you have not purchased the program, go get the big league. Shook us training system. I show you, you know, I go through all that, how to hit guys like this dude. You, you don't let him fool you over there sitting and coaching over there. This dude was a beast, man, on the mound, man. And uh, so, you know, bottom line, you know, this dude was a beast, man. Uh, you could tell the passion that he has coaching. He definitely had it on the pitching mound. It was a, was a battle and we competed, man. So um, no doubt about it, man. So I appreciate you, Big Josh, man. Um, I will be in contact. Love you, my brother. Go purchase the program. Thanks, Three o'clock tomorrow. I right? I will be on. Josh, I appreciate you, my guy. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you, man. All right, take care, man. Later.